In this video, let's learn that a function can be continuous in a certain point, but not differentiable. Let's define the module of x for x below 0 minus x, and the, it is the left side of the graphic. For x above 0, it's x. It is the right side of this graphic here. This is a continuous function, including at the point 0. See that at point 0, the left limit and the right limit is equal to 0. Now, let's take the derivative of minus x, that is minus 1, and take the derivative of x, that is 1, and it's written here. Now, let's see the chart of these piecewise functions. For x above 0, this is the derivative, equal 1, is a constant. And for x below 0, this is the derivative, minus 1, is a constant as well. Note that the derivative is not defined at point 0. The left limit and the right limit, they are different. The left limit is minus 1, and the right limit is 1. Using your eyes, you can visualize that here is the minimum point of this function. But the point is, you cannot use the derivative to figure out that it is the minimum point, because this point 0 is not differentiable. If you think about machine learning algorithms, or estimators in econometrics, in the end, they are all optimization problem. And this kink that you see here will show up in many complicated functions. And not one kink, but several, many thousand kinks. What I'm telling you that in many real-world problems, there is no analytical solution. That means you cannot take the derivative and get a, a number like this. We have to rely on the computational power the brutal force of the computer to get the optimum, maximum or minimum in a real-world problem. Now that we know the theory, let's learn the computational aspects to get the results. Let's import SymPy, initialize printing to get a nice format, declare x as a symbol, let's define x module, that is a piecewise function, for x below 0 minus x, and for x above 0 is x. And the, let's see the result. What is called here? The computer output this. Now, let's plot x module. And it's important here to put false for adaptive. The default is true, and the, you are not going to get this graph here. You are going to get error. In other words, you have to turn off the adaptive algorithm that plot a very accurate charts using a recursive sample. And this is because you are using this piecewise. Now, let's take the derivative of x module in terms of x, and this is the result. You have to understand that you give a piecewise function to the computer to take the derivative. Then the computer took the derivative for x below 0 and got minus 1, and for x above 0 and got 1. But if you put together both pieces, we know that the derivative is not defined at point zero, because the left limit is different from the right limit. Now, let's plot the chart of the derivative. See that here we choose the range for x, minus 4 to minus 0 0.001. This is the left side of the chart. I didn't put 0 here, because x equals 0, the derivative will be 1 not minus 1. And here is the right side of the chart. See the range. x vary from 0 to 4. Basically, I broke down the chart in two pieces. The left piece and the right piece. 